Welcome to Q&A with JP. Bub Coons here, Pastor JP, Dr. Pastor JP, Friend JP, Loving Man, Loving Husband, Loving Father. JP Jones here. Today's big question is, and this is fun, this is going to be fun, I think. How does Christianity get in the way of Jesus? Yeah, if I was going to be like clever yeah. title, be, you know, I'd alliterate, how does Christianity get in the way of Christ? Right, but, double C, yeah, 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 yeah. But the point is, I think there's a lot of Jesus followers, a lot of Christians, people who really know Christ, but the focus of their Christian life is not Jesus, it's the Christian life. Hmm. Doing things. Or, so, yeah, you know, so, right. and they may be in great things. Sure. You know, so tell me about your life. Well, you know, I go to church, I read the Bible, I try to be a moral person, I try to love my wife, I, I, I try to be godly, I try to share my faith, uh, I, I, I give 10%, blah, 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 blah. And everything I just said there is a biblical thing to do, yeah. right? That's the but I, I didn't hear Jesus. Right. <laughs> so, I, so it almost says to me, I could take Jesus out of your life and wow. you'd still be living... The Christian well, life. Well, it's Matthew 7, right? Didn't I, didn't we, didn't we throw, yeah. cast out, didn't I? And, and yeah. like, what? Yeah, I yeah. don't know you. Yeah. And when I, and, and what strikes me about that is that's, uh, you know, I could be looking in the mirror. Oh, sure. Right? Yeah. So that's not the, the carnal Christian. That's the, that sounds like the committed Christian, right? But the right. committed Christian could be more committed to Christianity than to Jesus himself. And, and I've been in Hebrews uh, of late studying and, yep. and teaching. And Hebrews 12, you know, talks about uh, laying aside every encumbrance and the sin that so easily entangled mm -hmm. us, running with endurance the race that is set before us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, not fixing our eyes on morality, not fixing our eyes on being a good person, mm. you know, mm. not fixing our I, eyes on holiness. There's a book in there, JP. You, you, I, you know, I mean, I yeah. could... Act, Everything I could substitute in there would be something that we would agree on that good followers of Jesus should embrace, but that's not what we should fix our wow. eyes on. It's got to be Jesus. Yes. Is and and then I was thinking so, so mm. there's that, and then I was thinking about this. I was at a gathering, and the name shall be you know, yeah, <laughs> not mentioned <laughs> yeah. to protect the innocent. Yes. And and we were telling our stories, and one of the persons telling their their faith story. It was church. And serving, and the list uh, that you just a, a out, lot right? of ministry, and their Christian family, and and I was listening. I go, gosh, nothing they said had anything to do with Jesus, and it asked, actually left me thinking, like, do they really know Jesus? Yeah, right. Like, That's... Are they living, you know, by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone? Right. Because they may not even be saved, because their understanding of Christianity was all about these. Christian things that they did. Yeah. Well, in that, that's kind of what I was alluding to. And I think I got it right. It's Matthew 7, right? Where many will come to me and say, Lord, Lord. And, and I say, get away from me. And it goes, but didn't we do all this list of stuff? Yeah. Scariest verse in the Bible, quote unquote, because right. we could fall into that trap. I, right? you know, yeah. So how do you, what do you do? How do you protect, how do you protect, how do you protect yourself? If that, or not protect yourself, how do you get, how do you get that right? Because, if you probably stopped that guy and said, "Well, where's Jesus in that?" He'd go, oh, 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 yeah, it's he's all over it. But he did, yeah. he did, and and he, but he didn't say. He, it, right. It's not what naturally came out of him. So somehow we do like to talk about we, 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 right? And what so, we're doing is opposed to him, 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 and he's doing all this through me and for me, and he's already set up a path for me, and I'm just being doing what he tells me to do because Christ is everything. That should be the answer, or something like that. Yeah. So I, I think you know, you'd ask me a question about, you know, so what do we do about yeah. it? I, well, part of that, uh, I think it's, it's in Second Corinthians, I think chapter 11, it's at the end of, it's in the, the book where it says, uh, test yourself. Okay. So to, to, to see if you pass the test, and it's talking about, are you really in the faith? Mm -hmm. there's, there's a healthy self-evaluation. Do I really know Jesus? I, I mean, it, or is it just morality? Is it just, do, you know, there's a, you know, is it just a, I'm a deist yeah. and a moral right, right, deist right. and, you know, I'm a therapeutic yeah. moral deist, whatever that right. phrase is, you know. But the point is, it, it have I have I been born again? Convert, have I truly come to converted, the place yeah. where, where I've repented of my sin, believed in Christ alone for my salvation, trusted in Christ, invited Jesus into my life, and then 
I'm experiencing Jesus living in me, me in Christ, Christ in me. You know, mm -hmm. Galatians 2.20 says, I've been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I, I who live. live. Yeah. It's Christ who lives in me, and the life which I now live, I live by faith in the Son of God. So is my faith in the Son of God, yeah. or is my faith in me keeping the Ten Commandments? Okay, my faith in me, me going yeah. to the church. My faith in me it is my faith in Jesus. Right. So, okay, settle that. Okay, then let's just say, for the sake of this discussion, okay, I do know that I really am a, a follower of Jesus, mm -hmm. and that I've trusted Christ, and I'm in Christ, and Christ is in me. Okay, now start making my Christian life about that. Right. Jesus said in John 15, abide in me. Mm -hmm. And so every day, talk to the Lord. Spend some time with the Lord. And have it be about Jesus and, and renew your own thinking about abiding in Jesus. I'm abiding in Jesus and I'm asking Jesus to live through me. Yeah. I'm abiding in Jesus and I'm asking Jesus to live through me. And then I would say, check my verbiage <laughs> about my life. Mm -hmm. So am I talking more about me or am I talking more about Jesus? Yeah. And, you know, and and so all it's all of those things. Sure. And 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 I would say, quite honestly, make sure you go to a church that reinforces that. Because right. there's some churches that that make Christianity the obstacle to right. Christ. Right. 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 So go to a church that's talking a lot about Jesus and yeah. helps you get to know Jesus, not just gets you busy doing Christian stuff. Yeah, it's it's a. You can see how that. I mean, it, it seems like especially even America, the because that's what. You know, pull up your bootstraps. You have the pursuit of happiness. This is about your own freedom. We can we can put um, we can put American values on top of scripture, and then then we think we're do we're saying good things. And mm -hmm. like you said, those those things are good. How, how do what's the? I mean, you gave some practical things, but there, there, I think this is a really really good point, and that's why I said there's there's probably a book worth of knowledge in, in this subject. And we, it's a play on words, obviously, but you know, Christianity's great. It comes from Christ. But when you when you put it when you put the moral substance above it, or however however you want to say it, is why, what, why do you think we do that? I mean, is it is it the is it the enemy, or are we? Why 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 would why would I the first thing I didn't say is Jesus? Why would I make up that list? Why is that in Matthew seven where the person told you what he? what he did mm -hmm. and the guy's like that's not what I asked it's like w is that we're just sinful we're blinded or or we really want to be we're, we're our own idols it's I think it's all of the above okay. because ultimately we are in a spiritual battle You're right and the enemy wants to blind us to the truth and pervert the true faith that we have in Jesus so yes that's part of it I think we are our own worst enemies mm. when we give into our lower nature, you know, um, and we the the nature of because you know the big struggle, especially in Paul's writing, is uh, faith and grace versus works, right? Mm, right. So we the the book of Galatians is written to people who started off in faith, but then they went to works. Mm. So I think it's 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 very possible and and it, it in fact it happens a lot with people who start with Jesus yeah. but quickly go to Christianity using yeah. you know, the phrase that we're talking about but the point is start with Jesus and stay with Jesus don't ever get away from Jesus yeah sure you you would think though is a yeah how would you identify if the, if if there's fruit to your life right and that's what that's what they're probably saying here's the fruit of what's happening out of my life so therefore Jesus is well how do you help someone well, you said you said part of it in, in, in testing yourself, but how do you identify how do you identify a false kind of fruit versus a, a, a genuine fruit so that you can actually step in and help someone? Yeah, and that's really I, maybe maybe you can't unless you spend a lot of time around the person. But sometimes you you know like you ran into that guy, it was right. pretty clear. You're like, so something's that's that's maybe, whoa. <laughs> yeah, well it 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 I think it revealed they probably weren't even aware of what they were saying, right. but it revealed. Their heart was more about the stuff that they were doing than the real relationship that they had with Jesus. Now, I'm not saying that shouldn't be there shouldn't be stuff that we're doing. Sure, but it should be the overflow and the the result of that genuine relationship. Yeah. So when I'm talk when I'm talk ask about 
the relationship. I talk about the relationship, not about the stuff yeah. that I'm doing. So I'm trying to think of an illustration. You know, probably there's something there in marriage where if you ask me about hmm. my my love for my wife or my relationship with my wife or my marriage, and all I did is talk about, well, I I do this and 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 I do this. <laughs> you'd start to think right. you're pretty full of yourself yeah, yeah. or you don't understand what I'm really asking right. or that's good. Yeah, you know, I see but that. on the other hand, are we to do things for our of wives? Course. Of course we uh, are. Of course. And, and they nurture the, the relationship. Yep. So it, it, this is that, I just think that we, it's worth every one of us as genuine yep. followers of Christ to, to ask ourselves if Jesus was to be removed from my life, would anything be different? Because hmm. hmm. if we just keep on going through the motions of what we're going through, yeah. and maybe, you know, and it's a question to me ask as a pastor, if Jesus left the building, You're right? would the church just keep on going the way it was? Because if it would, something's wrong with yeah. the way we're doing our church, yeah. right? I mean, because, and that's why I love that John 15, where Jesus says, I'm, I'm the vine and you're the branch. And it's the it's the branch that's vitally connected to me, and I'm in them, and they're in me, and I flow my life through yeah. them. And they don't produce fruit; they bear fruit. Mm -hmm. So it's really my fruit. Yeah, I don't even know what's them. happening. Stuff's yes. popping out of so me. So yeah. to me, that's a picture of what a real relationship with Jesus. I'm connected to Jesus. Jesus is connected to me, and He's in me, and He's living through me. Yeah. And that's genuine. That's genuine Christianity. And yeah, and I think something if we if we pause and did that enough, the the, the, the world would change if we really let Jesus produce in us and just be bearers of, of, of the fruit. But it, it seems like, and this is probably the biggest subject that you can address in the New Testament, obviously, other than the, the power of the resurrection, is this whole thing with works and faith. It's it's a crazy little line, right? And and that's why it's talked about so much. I think well, it's it, like it I, is. let me and, and, it, and, it, and it even and this plays into some things we were talking about before about too easily getting into two camps and breaking right. it up because in that quite you have the camp that talk, that so is emphasizing yeah. grace and faith yeah. but uh there may not be any substance of transformation mm -hmm. and then you have the people who want to emphasize the works as the proof of the transformation mm -hmm. but they subtly get over into this pharisaical right. kind of description right? right and they both are over emphasizing what is this beautiful Union, yep. that genuine faith produces works, mm -hmm. but but it's it's that genuine faith in Jesus because it's Jesus in us right. making the transformation. Yeah, right? and I, yeah, when I meant to say that, and, and I meant that from a salvific point of view, like the works can't save you, God, the great grace saves you, and and to not get those mixed up. But the once you are saved, you should you should bear fruit that Christ produces in you. That's right. that's kind of what I was. That well, was and, and yes, yeah, and. And I think it's just so subtle, Bub, that that we let's just say we we start off on that path. It's the correct path, mm -hmm. and then we even we 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 engage in spiritual disciplines and acts of service because we want to please the Lord right. and because we want to draw closer to the Lord. But those very disciplines and acts of service subtly become to us what Christianity is. Yes, see, that's the Moses veil. The problem was the of the Moses veil. <laughs> uh, all right, thanks. That was great, JP. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. Adios.